Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain the numerical problems related to entropy of mixing of ideal gases. In my previous video, we have already seen the derivation of entropy of mixing of ideal gases. And today, we are going to use that final expression to solve some numerical problems. In examination, numerical problem from this topic is frequently asked. So, watch this video till the end and learn all the numerical problems that we are going to see in this video. So, let's start. So, this is the question of the first numerical problem. 1 mole of hydrogen and 9 mole of nitrogen are mixed at 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius. Calculate the entropy of mixing of ideal gases per mole of the mixer formed. That means we need to calculate the value of entropy of mixer of ideal gases. Okay. So, first of all, let's write what are given. Solution. Here, number of moles of hydrogen is given. Number of moles of hydrogen that is and one is given to be one similarly number of moles of nitrogen is also given and let us consider this to be n2 and this is given to be nine over here right now we just need these two data to find the value of entropy of mixing of ideal gases okay now if we have the number we need to calculate the mole fraction then for that, we need to calculate the total uh, total number of moles of gases, okay. So, total number of moles is equal to total number of moles is equal to just add N1 plus N2 and it will give us 10, right. Now, we need to calculate the mole fraction. So, mole fraction, mole fraction of hydrogen. First of all, we need to calculate the mole fraction of hydrogen. To do that, divide the number of fraction of, sorry, number of moles of hydrogen that is 1 by total number of moles, N1 plus N2, okay. So, it will be 1 by 10, right, it is 0 0.1. Similarly, we need to calculate the mole fraction of nitrogen. To do that, we need to divide N2 by N1 plus N2 is equal to 9 by 10 is equal to 0 0.9. So, these are the two data that we needed, okay. Now, wait a minute, this is represented by N1 and this one here is represented by N2, okay. Now, we need to calculate the value of entropy of mixing of ideal gases. The notation for that is del SM, entropy of mixing of mixer, right, of ideal gases and the formula is minus R bracket n1 ln n1 plus n2 ln n2. So, this is the formula to calculate the value of uh, entropy of mixing of ideal gases. Remember this formula. This is the only formula that we are going to use to solve any numerical problem from this topic. Okay. Let, let us put the value now minus the value of universal gas constant that is R is 8.314 into n1 what is the value of n1 1 into ln n1 means 0 0.1 right plus n2 means 9 ln 0 0.9 and if you put this all in calculator then you will directly get plus 27.025 joule per mole per kelvin so, this is the value of entropy of mixing of ideal gases. That means, when two gases are mixed, the entropy value will be this much. And this will obviously be greater value than the entropy of hydrogen and nitrogen at normal form. Okay. So, I hope you understood the first numerical problem. Similarly, let's see another numerical problem. So, this is the question of the second numerical problem. It NTP. NTP means normal temperature and pressure. 2.8 liter of oxygen and 19.8 liter of hydrogen were mixed. Calculate the increase in entropy of mixing of ideal gases. Okay. So, now in this case, number of moles is not given. Instead of that, the volume of both the gases are provided. So, how do we do this? Let's see that. In solution, first of all, 
volume of uh, oxygen is given how much 2.8 liters 2.8 liter now whenever volume is given then we can find the value of number of mole of that gas as well so number of mole of oxygen that is n1 can be calculated by just dividing the given uh, volume by 22.4 and whatever value you get that is the value of the number of moles that is in this case a uh, number of mole of oxygen is actually 0 0.125 similarly volume of uh, nitrogen sorry hydrogen is provided that is to be uh, how much yes 19.8 liter now to calculate the value of number of mole of hydrogen that is n2 there will be 19.8 divided by how much 22.4 right and if we divide it we will get 0 0.875 this is the value of n2 now the solution is similar to earlier solution as well as n1 and n2 are given then obviously we need to calculate the value of total number of moles right so total number of moles that is n1 plus n2 will be equal to 0 0.125 plus 0 0.875 and if you add them you will get 1 so total number of moles of gases is 1 now now we need to calculate the value of mole fraction of both the gases so mole fraction of oxygen mole fraction of oxygen that is capital n1 is equal to how much what is the formula n1 by n1 plus n2 right so n1 is given to be how much 0 0.125 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.125 Similarly, mole fraction of hydrogen that is N2 can be calculated by the formula N2 by N1 plus N2. N2 is 0 0.875 divided by uh, 1 is equal to 0 0.875. So now we have this much of data. So now we just have to find out the value of uh, entropy, entropy of mixing that is del as m and what is the formula of this yes you are correct minus r ln sorry n1 ln n1 plus n2 ln n2 so this is the formula that you know already right let's put the values now minus 8.314 that is the value of the universal gas constant n1 is given to be how much 0 0.125 0.125 ln this is capital n1 is also 0 0.125 plus n2 is given to be 0 0.875 into ln bracket in bracket also 0 0.875 so we get this much and if you put this on calculator and if you click okay uh, it's equal to then you will directly get 3.117 joule per mole for kelvin you will always get a positive value over here okay if you get a negative value here in the answer then obviously your solution is wrong the entropy of mixing can never be a negative value it will always be a positive value so be careful over there okay so if you put this on calculator you will get this much of value now this is the value this is the required value of increase in entropy of mixing this is how we need to solve a question like this when volume is given then first of all we need to calculate the value of number of mole by dividing it uh, by 22.4 and then we need to calculate the mole fraction then only we can find the value of entropy of mixing now let's see one more important numerical problem so this is the question of the third numerical problem at NTP 19.6 liter of hydrogen and 2.86 liter of carbon dioxide were mixed calculate the entropy change so we need to calculate the entropy change when 19.6 uh, liter of hydrogen and 2.86 liter of carbon dioxide gases were mixed does it make any difference if 19.6 liter of carbon dioxide and 2.86 liter of 
uh, hydrogen will be mixed under similar condition. That means, first of all, we need to calculate the value of entropy of mixing of hydrogen and uh, carbon dioxide when their volume are this much. Now, in the second case, we need to calculate the value of the entropy of mixing of both the gases under similar condition, but in that time, the volume will be interchanged. Then, will there be any difference in the entropy of mixing that we are going to see over here? So, first of all, let's write the given conditions. So, in the first case, obviously, the volume of hydrogen is provided. Volume of hydrogen is equal to 19.6 liters, right? So, number of moles of hydrogen that is N1 is calculated by by 22.4 this will be how much 0 0.875 yes 0 0.875 this is the value of n1 similarly volume of carbon dioxide is provided that is to be how much 2.86 liter so number of mole of carbon dioxide that is n2 can be calculated by dividing it by 22.4 and it will be 0 0.125 0 0.125 now we need to calculate the value of the mole fraction that is n1 let me write it directly now you have obviously understood so n1 will be equal to n1 by n1 plus n2 and n2 will be equal to n2 by n1 plus n2 and if you get the value you, you can just add them and put it over here okay so n1 value is 0 0.875 and if you add them you will get 1 so it will be 0 0.875 obviously here it will be 0 0.125 divided by if you add them you will get 1 so it will be 0 0.125 now let's calculate the value of del as m for this case it will be minus r n1 ln n1 plus n2 ln n2 let's put the values now minus 8.314 into n1 means how much 0 0.875 ln 0 0.875 plus n2 means 0 0.125 ln 0 0.125 so we get this much and if you put it on calculator then you will get the value to be plus 3.117 joule per mole per kelvin now what if the volume were different the volume were interchanged then will there be any difference in this so for second case for second case let us consider this to be del as m prime okay now in this case the only difference will be in place of this n1 there will be n2 and in the in place of this n2 there will be n1 because the volumes are same so obviously the data will get interchanged okay so it will be say minus r n1 ln n1 plus n2 ln n2 minus r in this case n1 will be this much 0 0.125 0 0.125 ln and capital n1 will be also 0 0.125 plus n2 will be how much 0 0.875 and it will be ln 0 0.875 as well only the data will be interchanged and nothing else then obviously you will if you put this you will get the same value that is to be 3.117 joule per mole per kelvin so we get this much values and we can see that the entropy of mixing of the gases do not change that means if the volumes are interchanged then also the value of entropy of mixing of the gases will remain same so in this video we saw three important numerical problems they are frequently asked in examination so prepare hard and see all the numerical problems carefully you can't make any mistake in any point okay so that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video